Hello creative friends, it's Eugenia from Armel Temis Atelier and today we're going to review the 24 metallic color watercolor paints from Subtle Art. Um, it looked very interesting this uh, set, it was pretty affordable and I got it about an, huh, could be a year ago. Uh, I haven't opened it. <laughs> um okay yep um so today it is the day that i'm gonna open it and uh, review it with you uh, i also want to show you the uh, my latest uh creation it is those um oyster dishes um i have decorated them with decoupage and um, gold leaf and then uh, they're great to put like little things like jewelry or you, you, you can little bits and pieces that you don't want to um, to to lose that they you know they're floating around loose on your uh, desk or wherever and you just want to uh, keep them in one place so um, that's really the use or you can actually uh, have them decorating your dresser um because i found that they don't sit straight because of the abnormal like, not abnormal it is normal for the oysters uh irregular i meant to say shape um i've created these little um stands so it you just put them and they just stand st steady and straight so they don't tilt and uh, yeah so I just thought to let you know, that's to show you my la latest creation. Uh, I've done a little short video, uploaded the other day. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested, I think it's a great idea for um, Christmas uh, stocking fillers. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're interested, you can uh, go and have a look at my, my edges shop. Uh, there's plenty of time for me to post it to you and now let's leave my uh, trinket trinket ring dishes and let's start unboxing uh, or opening this um, set uh, it looks like that it has quite a few things uh, it's got 24 metallic what I call a, um, paints uh, in, in half pens uh, it's a, on, in a metallic uh, palette and uh, it's got a refillable uh, water brush and test cards black and white to see how they perform the, the colors they perform and um, and also a watercolor pad oh it would be interesting to see if that pad um, is it's good uh, okay from the first uh, look the pad is not going to be good the sizing is there's no sizing enough sizing it's it feels like it's gonna be very absorbent anyway we'll try it it's got a 18 thin sheet 190 GSM watercolor pad we'll see I, I don't think this will perform good um yeah we'll see though i might be i might be wrong and then it's got the tin which is great okay the tin is actually wrapped in more plastic uh, so yes yeah, very well packed this set uh, let's open remember how much I bought it I think it, it wasn't um, expensive at all it was very uh, affordable and that's the way I got it um, on yeah I needed the thing a tin at the time and I decided to buy them but uh, then I used something else okay so um, first glance uh, it's the watercolor test card it is the same as the watercolor pad the quality so we'll see the how they actually performing uh, and it's got space for 
to put the colors with the names <clears throat> and also just uh, and, and another lot of windows to put the colors again I'm not sure um, it's got the nice thing is it's in white and in black so we'll see how they perform in both papers and uh, they have the refillable water brush yes this nice little sponge and all the 24 colors all metallic and we'll see how they perform now it will take me a little while to um unwrap them and maybe i mean i don't really need to keep the wrapping because i've got okay we'll see how uh, actually if i could um sometimes what happens if i ah yes okay so they unstick carefully and if the glue is still um sticky i can go and put them the other way so i keep all the information so i'll do this oh. okay yeah, it's very sticky which is good okay let me start do it properly so i just go here wrap it this way and great and you can tell i've got all my information here and my pan oh the other thing that i've noticed straight away is that these pans are very 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 shallow not the pans they actually paint uh it's missing almost, almost one third of the pan so that's not um uh, yeah, not very good they have dried up a lot or i don't know they didn't fill them properly so that's um my second negative thing that uh i just uh yeah noticed straight away from my first um uh, it could be only that color though yeah probably uh, this is a little bit fuller than the other one. Uh, I'm not sure if, because they, if you can actually see them. This is a bit fuller. This is a little bit less. Maybe I started opening, you know, uh, <laughs> a pen with uh, bad pen. <laughs> not bad, but you know. A little bit less paint okay so th this this is very handy the way they uh, the way they have uh, done the wrap the and the glue that they used because now i can just stick it to the back and i know which one it is i mean it doesn't really uh i don't really need it for a metallic set that would be handy though for uh, the other pe pens that we're using when they're very dark the paints and we cannot really see what color it is and sometimes we take them out from this spot and then hmm, we need to try them out to see which what color it is that if they're very dark usually the transparent co colors are like this not the metallics okay well probably i think i started with a bad pan and it was like half full now the rest of them it looks like they are normal yeah the feeling they have a normal amount of paint so now i'm gonna put some music because i think it will be a little bit boring to watching me taking off one by one those uh, pens and unstick the paper so definitely I'll put some music on.
so there we go i have uh, unwrapped all, all the colors and uh, i kept the rubbing at the back so i can see which color it is which it's pretty predictable with a metallic but i thought to keep it uh now uh and also thought to use the what a color um uh, refillable uh, brush and um no I'm, I'm not sure if you uh, have the same problem sometimes unless you're on the top and you open it very slow or immerse it in water it's difficult to uh, put water in this um in this br uh, brush so what i do i just get my spritz bottle uh, which I always have with me and I just go like this and it's it fills up pretty fast without any water escaping and making mess or almost any water <laughs> that's it it's full uh, and you know that these brushes they don't close clockwise they close anti-clockwise <laughs> the opposite I okay, guess thought to remind you because the first time I tried to open one of those <laughs> till till to realize what I have to do it was a little bit of an issue for me uh, okay so um also and another uh, thing that I've noticed um okay to begin with the um the tin is finished really nice uh very good quality tin no sharp ends maybe a little bit here uh nothing major though it doesn't really scratch um if i take this off uh, there's more wells here for mixing so you can actually take them off and do more mixing in the back here if you need to uh, and the other thing uh i, I just want to con compare it with the semi-art uh also the pens these pens are a little bit larger uh, than this semi art ones the both 20 that it's the same size uh, tin but the the pans i have more space here the semi art for more uh pans which means that these pans are smaller than the um the saddle art so if i put them like this on the top the function larger okay so it's a little bit they're wider and uh, a little bit deeper they're wider and they have like this kind of shape this one that makes it smaller and this one's up wide from the top to the bottom and about one mil uh, millimeter larger anyway so they get they look larger these pans and uh what i've noticed also at the beginning when i open it uh, that one of the pens were almost half finally I found one more like this that's kind of half full everything else is um full to the top okay so just sort of let you know, know all my first impressions and now we spray let's see if they're activating fast and i will use this um, brush pen let's see how it performs okay i haven't even opened it but it's yeah, one of them so let's start a uh, uh, and the colors let me make sure that i have the correct yep they're going this way uh from metallic red wine i mean hmm. it's a little bit mix mix up the colors i don't really like the order but anyway oh the other thing i'm supposed to do and i for, almost forgot then is um to get my sharpie huh, if i find it should be somewhere here my black sharpie okay there's one and just make a line 
that will help me to see, see um, how transparent they are and how or opaque so um, I'm always doing this with all my uh, colors just to see the coverage they look um, that they will be opaque because they're so vibrant very vibrant I really like them um, let's see how they come up on the paper okay let's close my sharpie pretty good otherwise it will get evaporated okay so first the metallic red wine no one red sorry <laughs> um Okay, it doesn't look very uh, opaque, this first one. And to be honest, I'm not really impressed with this particular one. Hmm. I think this paper is not helping either. It's very absorbing. Okay, let me wet it first. Let's see how it will, what's going to do now. Maybe I waited a little bit too much. I'm not going to cover the whole thing because I, I still want to see the number. And maybe I'll do the wet part on the bottom and the dry on the top here. Oops, I did in the red, the wrong red. Oh, pink, sorry. I am getting tempted to do my own, uh, to create my own wash. Swatch, sorry. Um, the reason is I don't trust this paper. It's got that feel but um, it just doesn't look right to me so I've got some papers here ready for swatches I can't remember what kind of paper it is but um, it is definitely uh, a little bit better okay so I'm gonna just do Okay, in that case, uh, I'll do also on this paper too, which means we're going to be comparing the two papers. Even I don't rem really remember what it is. What is that? Uh, that's only a 12. I need a 24. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a 24. So let's do again the same with a Sharpie. Oh, 
I'll probably have to put a little bit music now because it's gonna be a little bit boring watching me swatching each one of those colors. Uh, I'll do the swatch and then I'll come back uh, and talk to you with my impressions and what I found out in regards to the colors and to the paper. So let's put some music on. I uh, managed to do all my swatches and <laughs> um, yeah um, they're pretty vibrant I have to admit that uh, I do like them and um, two things one before I actually forget um, this brush pen um, I'm not sure it was shedding um, while I've done this for swatches, uh, I've lost seven hair. So yeah, I don't think I am. Oh, there's one more. That's ninth. So yeah, I'm not. I don't feel confident to take it with me for uh, traveling. Definitely not. Um, so yeah, the brass pen. lower average um the the paints the re-wet uh not too fast they it takes a little while and they dry extremely fast probably because of the pigments that just were too dry and um i'm not sure if it's makeup powder uh, paint in the powder pigment um uh, yet yeah, probably absorb um the water uh, so they don't stay wet too long uh, i had to for these four swatches i had to reapply three times um the first one very disappointing there's actually a hole in there it definitely half a pan and this one here so two pans that were half um that's about for the paint and uh, now the colors I'll call it this uh, water color paper. Uh, I don't know how, how it's going to be performed uh, in uh, painting, but for the swatches, it was fine. Uh, as you can tell, they're pretty vibrant, very, very shimmery. I'm not sure if you can. So, pretty friends, now um, my uh, battery went flat, so I had to pause and um, continue <laughs> a little bit later. So, um, as I was um, saying before, um, yeah, they've, they're kind of really bright and vibrant. I really like them. Uh, they, they do cover very nice um, on the second... Um, time um, that we apply the color uh, the first time they, they, they look actually pretty uh, transparent which I do like uh, and when you reapply then they become more opaque which um, yeah I kind of uh, like it in case we I, I need to put a little bit more on top of my traditional watercolors um, and for the black, uh, on the black paper, uh, they do perform pretty good, very shiny, um, I really like them, the, the quality. They do need to, um, a little bit extra time to, uh, to wet them, to reactivate, but 
I found it that it happens with uh, other um, metallic paints too. So, uh, yeah, uh, on the watercolor paper, it yeah, it it seems that it doesn't really um, affect it. So the the pretty similar both were, uh, papers that I've done it. Uh, now uh, what I did uh, a normal I'm gonna have this um, swatch in my palette and on one of uh, the black ones then I tore the other one and I put it on my uh, the other swatch that I'm gonna actually keep it with all the other swatches that I have uh, for, for my paints so uh, I leave this one here and um, now Another thing that I would like to do is, uh, oh, apparently uh, with the box it was, it came, the lid came like that uh, and now I just looked and this is actually instructions uh, and the most of them is what we said uh, to put the sticker behind the pens with the information of the paint and it gives instructions how to open and, and uh, close the water brush and um, yeah basically yeah what we have already said uh, but there, there are all these instructions in here too and um, now the other thing that I would like to mention and is an Oh, I want to do a little comparison with my other um, metallic uh, sets that I have. Um, I've got this um, semi-art set, the 24, uh, and also um, the Montmartre ones. And also I've got the, the swatches that I've made for this paints where are they okay so uh, let's uh, compare them a little bit and uh, talk about them so first i will talk quickly uh, for the Montmartre ones and um, if i compare those to the two swatches are uh, completely clean different as you can tell, performance and um, this art, subtle art. Let me put them like this. Yeah. So the uh, this uh, subtle art, they're much more vibrant. Uh, okay, more colors. It's Twenty-four. Montmartre is eighteen, um, and they're more uh, vibrant and more. Uh, transparent Montmartre ones uh, they are kind of transparent on the first um, application the second one they become very chalky um, but if you do them as um, a, a little um, glaze on top of your painting which that's what I did here it, they actually work very nice with uh, an under painting. So with these colors, I found that I like to first do my traditional painting with my traditional colors, and then I go over it and to give a little shimmer with this uh, these colors, and they're very um, they're pastel very soft colors so they, they're they're two different things they can do they can have different use and the Montmartre for the dark on the black I don't really like them at all and yeah they, they have you, you can tell it's chocolate and cheese um, and uh, well for the uh, on the white paper and uh, as i said yeah i don't mind they have pastel colors and uh, very transparent so uh that's the little comparison with the montmartre 
uh, kit here and now uh, I want to uh, compare them a little bit also with the semi-art semi-art uh, the, they look very similar they have both the same um, things the same palettes exactly the same apparently uh, then the colors are both 24 set each now the differences um, let's see the differences yeah uh, as I said at the beginning the um, the pens on the semi art is much smaller than the pens on uh, of the saddle art uh, so the saddle art covers the whole um, length of the palette for the semi art because they're smaller they actually there's more space at the end for, for at least one extra um, pan on its line so the, si the size is different and uh, now let's talk a little bit about the performance um, you know, the semi art here I didn't do any artwork uh, I tend to make some artwork here uh, after we talk so let's see about the colors comparing the colors um, I found that uh, yeah, the semi art has some colors that I do like a lot uh, those green hits here are very nice it has three different greens um, subtle art has only one green and this they call it dark uh, green how do they call it uh, metallic deep green but to me it's very very dark gray green so yeah um, uh, basically has only one grain here it looks like a mint okay aqua grain uh so there's no really nice grains like grass grains that uh, the semi art has um it's got it's got a lot of golds one two three four five golds the semi art the saddle art which i think they're a little bit too many but they're really really nice and pretty um so i won't complain because they're really nice but five golds five different golds um yeah it's a little bit overkill uh well the semi art has yeah well it has two red gold yeah there are lots of golds here too um what else uh blues they both have two blues each i think the subtle arts ones are a little bit more vibrant uh the the reds uh satellite has quite a few reds here and really nice purple um you yeah, same same way out it has quite a few dull ones here um, but still they're nice and useful i'm gonna say uh they're, they're different colors it's uh, the colors are a little bit different i can i found that the satellites they look a little bit more clear color more clean colors um the semi art can be a little bit uh, i would say a little a little bit more muddy uh, but i still like them very much and now when we go to the darks on the dark paper um, again um, yeah the, the brighter colors of on uh, the ones that they look a little bit more chalky on the white paper they come up really nice on the black which I like uh, yeah the, the, they're pretty similar pretty similar in the performance now it depends what kind of uh, palette you prefer to uh, you prefer to have they're very similar um if if i had to choose one of them 
Hmm. I don't know if I have if I it happened to have also the Montmartre ones. Probably I would go for the Montmartre and the Saddle Art because so you can tell they are more. I've got the pastels from the Montmartre and the really vibrant ones from uh, the the Saddle Art. Uh, if I don't have this Montmartre and I have to go for one of those, um, I don't know, it's a tough question. I like them both. Mm, yeah, it's probably personal uh, preference. Um, yeah, so th that's it depends which colors you think you're gonna be using them the most so that's how uh, I compare the two uh, sets and, uh, and now I would like to do a little uh, oh th this one looks like <laughs> you draw it up like that okay uh, and I would like to do a little uh, painting to see how it uh, actually perform in practice so let's start by wetting my pens here because they do take a little while to uh, yeah, activate I really don't need the swatch <laughs> You can tell, we can tell they are very obvious, the colors. Uh, I'm going to paint uh, two little koi face. And um, I think I'm going to use a really tiny brush. Yeah. I'll, I'll use this liner. It's actually Montmartre. Uh, it's the Montmartre liner. And yeah, I'm going to use that one because it's a very small area. Um, unfortunately, I am not going to be able to post that photo because I just, um, just found it. But I can use the only as a reference. Um, I will mix it up a little bit. So first of all, I am gonna start. Uh, okay, I've done to begin with. I've done my drawing with a watercolor uh, pencil. So as I am painting, um, it will uh, it will dilute, and we won't see the lines. Um, the white actually, it's just titanium metallic white. It's like a pearlescent white, which I like very much. So. Maybe I should have tried to do them on the black paper. Hmm. Why well, didn't think of it? <laughs> Oh, it's actually you can see the
So there we go. I um, just finished the little koi fish. Um, oops, it was a little bit wet, but some water drip here and it's reactivated. Um, by the looks of it, uh, they do get reactivated even on the paper. Um, they act really nice actually. Uh, I have never done a even small painting like this from beginning to the end with metallics uh, very vibrant what can i say it covered it's, it's got good selection of colors they're mixing actually together uh, I, I tried to do some darker shades here for the shadow uh, with the blue and the black and they do mix apparently pretty good um yeah i'm really really surprised uh, not surprised yeah but actually a surprise for the price uh, that i got them they i think i got them for 24 australian dollars back then and now i check they are 27 everything has gone up nowadays um yeah but still it's pretty affordable it's a really good set uh 24 colors really good variety very vibrant they're reactivating nicely, they're mixing nicely. Um, you can use them uh, very thin, transparent, or you can put a couple of layers and build up the layers to, and they become more opaque. So it depends how you want to use them. Um, the tin is fantastic. Yeah, once the paint's finished, I'm sure I'm going to be refilling them with my other kind of paints that I have um great also for black uh, paper if you using uh you're doing lots of art on uh, black paper um not very impressed with the water brush because it was setting hopefully it will stop anyway we'll see how it goes uh it might stop sometimes the brushes they shed and then they stop uh, now the paper, the paper, I, I haven't tried the paper, it doesn't look promising, um, but I'll, I'll give it a go and we'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know on, on another video, uh, but yeah, I'm very happy with um, the colours and for my little koi fish painting that I've done today. <laughs> Uh, hopefully that uh, it's a little bit informative and useful for you, helps you to decide what colors uh, you would be uh, getting. Coming up slowly closer to Christmas, yep, lots of glitter we're going to need for our cards, the greedy cards and uh, paintings. Yeah, why not? Um, all the Christmas stuff that we're going to be making. Um, yeah, we need some shimmer in our life why not so thank you very much for watching me i uh, hope you're enjoying this little video um maybe you try to do some koi fish today <laughs> why not <laughs> and um hopefully we'll see you soon at my next video till then be happy be creative keep painting and be happy thank you bye Apparently I enjoyed so much painting the two koi fish so I re-attempted um, the subject and it they came up again very nice. I think I will make uh, a larger painting uh, with them and uh, at the uh, description below uh, I have included the colors that I used and, uh, and also the affiliate link uh, for this saddle set. Uh, that it's I'm, I'm really really excited right now and i'm using it a lot thank you